Okay, I'll fill it with this press tin. There's all sorts of other videos, shows all the complications. There are hardly any studs. Now the press tin is really old, it's got places where it's got like really bad rust. Here look, you can, there's a hole in there. I'll put green marker for where I need to fix tomorrow. Here, so that's a big gap there. You see I've added this piece here. Anyhow, I started here and started working across there. There's no timbers on the top, so it's a really long bit. And you've got to cut it so the patterns match. And I wanted to have um, symmetry around the um, window. I know I didn't, I had to continue wherever the pattern went, but it turned out okay. Window slightly to this side. Um, anyhow, now on this wall and these bits are really rusted, really rusted. Um, you can see I've added a bit here because this bit was flapping out and there, that bit, I've added that. I've added that one as well. I've marked this green pen where I want to put another uh, rivet or something or where I need to do something it's a bit unfortunate I might need to put something on there to bring that out a bit put some green pen for tomorrow um, I was going to put quarter turn or something there but I might not that needs to be flattened or pinned down a bit all along the top there rivets are required um, like I said I was going to put quarter turn that's why I left the gap but I think I'm just going to run the tin down now because yeah I'll just leave it like that I think it'll look funny trying to put quarter turn because you'll get where the wood hits the thing in big gaps and if the muck around filling it all along there needs rivets you see I've um, added the piece here I can't even see I've added it here added the piece here this one goes all the way up there I've added this bit here because this bit was caving in. I need to do something there. See I've added this bit, that bit, this bit, this bit. And when you add them you've got to match it exactly to the pattern as much as you can. It was all pretty that bit. There's a funny shape bit here. Um, I need to do something here because this is popping out a bit. I might put a screw that just goes into the frame just to push it back a bit. I don't quite like the way it is. Um, didn't mark this spot. I don't want to put that much filler in there, it's just a bit too much. So I might get a bit of tin and just run him along there just to fill that. Um, here it needs a couple more rivets or something. I'll put that bit in there, you can see that. All rivets along the top. Um, the blue marks are roughly marked where the studs were, but they go all funny here, so it got a bit complicated. And because there weren't really many studs here, that's why it's so difficult laying this tin, and I started to run out. And outside, I've only got a tiny bit left, really, just enough to patch all the little bits that I want. And when I almost like finish up with none spare, it's like absolutely crazy. And so it's, it's just, it actually looks quite good unpainted but um, I will convert the rust so I want to stop so stop rusting I've got a different um, press tin at the bottom that one I had a lot more I overlapped it quite well so that's all quite good I thought this one would be easy I thought like you know, no pattern but it's actually just as hard maybe even harder a bit there sticks out a bit not much I can do about that it's a bit like wobbly so you've got a timber there and basically your next one's or oh, there's one there but I don't know what maybe a nail or something put a couple of nails in there so nail nail so that's what I gotta do I can see a a nasty gap there that's so why I added this bit because the gap was much worse than that um, I might just leave that it looks like it needs something here to maybe I'll add it like a bit there or something like that just to pull this one out push this one back in a bit so it's 
looking at a bit like an artwork <laughs> as opposed to just putting up a press tin but I tend to do that I tend to like keep looking and I keep refining it see this that's been pushed in something so I'll put something over that one of these pieces just to fatten it up a bit um, of course I'm introducing new bits of tin but when you paint I don't think you'll see it I think you'll just see the pattern but I think it's part of the work part of the Giorgio Angelo experience uh, okay that bit's out jeez maybe another rivet there in here so anyhow that's state of play